These are three of the most hyped NFT projects right now. First is Small Bros with 141,000 followers on Twitter. This project has 8,888 NFTs. It launched on the 21st of March and the art reveal is on the 23rd of March, which is today. The founders say they're on a mission to remind people that they're never alone and they're on a mission to connect people together. Pretty cool. Small Bros believe in creating a unique environment and community while combining the physical and digital worlds in a way that will enable all Small Bros to connect with each other, create strong friendships and foster individual growth. And to me, the art has some real doodles vibes with the hand-drawn feel and the pastel colors. Let me know if you agree. Oh, and my name is Devon Cook. Welcome to my channel. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. The Small Bros roadmap includes custom VR and a PC hub. This is really gonna be foundational to the Small Bros community and a custom VR hub is gonna be available to every Small Bros holder. And this will grant you access to conferences, events, games, hangouts, giveaways, and a bunch more so that the bros can meet up and have fun. And the phase one hub will be available with or without VR. Now the second phase on the roadmap will include bros merch. There's gonna be a merch store both in real life and in VR where a high-end boutique is gonna be created exclusively for the bros holders. And all products will be accessible in real life via an exclusive holder pass on their website and will be shown as 3D mockups in their VR world. And the third phase is the bros charity. The team is gonna donate 20 Ethereum to the chosen community with the goal of supporting mental health. And the team members will be flying out to the chosen community to interact and support the community members. And that entire journey is going to be documented and shared on social media so everyone can follow. And the fourth step on the roadmap is the bros giveaway. The founders say that the ultimate goal of small bros NFTs is to share the experience with as many people as possible. So in that effort, they're going to be giving away 500 Oculus Quest 2 VR headsets among the small bros holders. And this will really be a must for the holders of small bros that want to take the experience to the next level with VR. Especially once phase two comes around, which is going to include 3D avatars. And the Small Bros NFT project has a team of seven, which includes everyone from Solidity coders, co-founders, moderators, and artists. And one thing that's nice about this project is that they should have lower than normal gas fees because these NFTs are ER721A tokens. And the mint price for this project is 0 0.079 Ethereum per NFT, and you only have a one NFT max per wallet. But if you were on the bros list, basically the whitelist, you can mint two NFTs per wallet for 0 0.069 Ethereum each. So you saved a bit of money and you can mint one extra NFT. And each Small Bros NFT is gonna have six different traits with varying degrees of rarity. They're gonna have a hat, their eyes, their accessories, their mouth, their shirt, and their body. And I'm also betting that the background is gonna be an additional trait. So let me know what you think about this project down below in the comments. Two critiques that I have. First, I would like a bit more details about this custom VR and PC hub that apparently they're building. And it would be really nice to know how they're gonna be integrating this with their NFTs and what kind of an experience the holders are gonna have if they don't have an Oculus VR headset. And as a little 1.5 critique, I think that having merch in your roadmap at this point is kind of a given just because so many projects out there are having merch as part of their roadmap. What I'm saying is I think having merch as part of your roadmap is really not that important. And I think projects could be doing things a lot cooler and a lot more innovative than just having merch. And second, it would be nice to know a bit more about their founders and their background and maybe a link to their personal accounts. Just my two cents. Now, the second project is Skyverse with 133,000 Twitter followers. And this project contains 5,000 unique Sky Islands that are coming to the metaverse. And when you go to their website, it's pretty interesting. You can use your cursor to erase the black and reveal a countdown and some art beneath it. And if you're someone like me who spent all the time to meticulously get rid of all the black just to see if something cool on the website happened, no. Nothing cool happened. So if you would, leave a like on this video since I saved you all that hassle. Thanks. And Skyverse takes place in a fantasy universe where magic and dragons exist, similar to Minecraft. And people used to live together in the country Skytopia. Skytopia was once a united and wealthy nation, but then the country was split into 5,000 unique Sky Islands. And these 5,000 Sky Islands are all teleported to different parts of the world. And Skyverse Part 1 is set around the 5,000 Genesis Sky Islands that are all going to be parts of different metaverses like NFT Worlds and Sandbox. And the vision for Skyverse is to create a strong platform in the metaverse for community interaction in the NFT space. And this they say will allow members of different communities to interact with each other, learn more about each other, and dive into a deeper social experience. And to execute this vision, the founders have partnered with some other NFT projects that have strong communities, such as Godzilla, the Sneaky Vampire Syndicate, and Llamaverse. They say that their vision and mission is to bring all of their partnered NFT project families into one metaverse, basically becoming a one big giant NFT family. And from their white paper, it looks like they have a pretty strong team with some pretty good experience. But again, in my opinion, I'd prefer to have a fully doxed team. Their roadmap is quite expansive and 
includes a lot of different proposals for what they're looking to accomplish in the future, such as a utility marketplace, a trading tool utility, and they're working on something called Skypixel, which is an open world community MMO style game. They're also going to launch a sandbox project with different assets, animations, and visual effects. And they're also looking to build out future collections with the second and third collections already planned. And they're going to release a cryptocurrency called Sky that they're going to implement into their different partner projects. And we don't have an exact mint date for this project. They said it's going to be late March, which in my opinion, it's already late March and we haven't heard anything. They said they're going to announce the final date one week prior to that date. So in my opinion, I wouldn't be too surprised to see this project get pushed back maybe to early April. The mint price for this project is 0.1 Ethereum. It's a 100% whitelist mint and the reveal is going to be 48 hours after the mint is finished. So what do you think about this project? I think they have some pretty cool plans and the art looks pretty nice, but are they promising too much in their roadmap and will they actually deliver? Important questions to ask yourself. And third, with a whopping 386,000 followers on Twitter, imaginary ones. Now I know what you're thinking. Those look exactly like invisible friends. Ah, but you would be wrong. You see, those are invisible these are imaginary. You see the difference? No, me neither. <laughs> Not really. Well, Imaginary Ones is a 3D art collection that has 8,888 NFTs built on the Ethereum network. And this project believes in using art to spread love, positivity, and creativity. This project is created by CM Tat, who's a renowned artist in Singapore. And the team behind the project has experience working with big companies like Apple, Nike, Samsung, Spotify, and L'Oreal. The Imaginary Ones is the beginning of the imaginary world where eons can come together to learn, play, and dream. And Eon is short for Imaginary Ones Nation which they say is the fusion of the Eon's form's indestructible energy. And that's what the Imaginary Ones community is all about. And the founders say that when they created Imaginary Ones, it was because when they were young, they dreamed of being superheroes and anything was possible. But as time passed, the reality of life robbed us of our ambitions. Sometimes it doesn't seem easy to find a reason to smile. And with Imaginary Ones, they dream to reignite that spark again, bring out your authentic self and step out of your comfort zone. Search back the passion you genuinely enjoyed. And together they say we can imagine and do great things. Now, as far as their roadmap, I'm going to warn you ahead of time, to me, it's exceptionally vague. The title of phase one is Imagination Run Wild, and it's going to include a first drop and community building. And phase two, Imaginary Culture, is going to have different brand collaborations and also a second drop. And finally, phase three, Imaginary World will have a metaverse where everyone will dream, play, and learn together. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I'm a big fan of NFT projects having a roadmap where as much as possible is specifically laid out. And not just some pie in the sky roadmap either. I'm looking for something that's unique, realistic, and achievable, and ideally very specific. I'm not the biggest fan of the Imaginary Ones roadmap because it leaves a lot to the imagination, and in my opinion, way too much. And I know many people will disagree with me on this because there are a lot of NFT projects that have done very well without having a very specific roadmap laid out ahead of time. We don't have an official date or mint price yet for this project, so we're just going to have to wait until they announce that. And if you are interested in this project, how do you get on the whitelist, since that's going to be the best way to get one of these NFTs? Well, you can get on the whitelist through contests, collabs, giveaways, and partnerships, or by owning a CMTAT Genesis art. Which of these NFT projects do you think is going to do the best, and which one is going to do the worst? Thanks for watching.